Bundy family. And this particular time, sons of Clive and Bundy, who's where he should be. He's, as we speak, he's in jail. Ammon and Ryan Bundy are in jail. They were two of the participants in the unlawful takeover. On April the 7th, 2016, Nevada Senator Harry Reid stood on the Senate floor and continued his bid for the federal government to grab more land than Americans have been using for generations. As usual, Reid uses typical cheap tactics and vague snapshots to pull at the heartstrings of those who are listening without providing facts or substance to back up the claims that he makes. Take, for example, a stunningly beautiful place called Gold Butte where Clive and Bundy illegally grazed his cattle for decades. Because of the trouble caused by the Bundys and their pals, uh, the federal employees tasked with safeguarding these antiquities have been prevented from doing their jobs. But what is at stake? Millions of acres of state-run land and the lives of several patriots, one of whom has already been executed in cold blood. Hey, okay, okay. Go ahead, shoot me. Yeah. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Harry Reid says the Red Butte must be saved. And to do it, Reid is urging Obama to use the Antiquities Act of 1906, which gives the president unilateral power to create a national monument with the stroke of his pen. It's a very different process from creating a national park. And that's because it was designed for a different purpose. The Antiquities Act of 1906 was signed into law by President Theodore Roosevelt in 1906. It was intended for the protection of objects of historic and scientific interest, such as Native American land and artifacts. Devil's Tower in Wyoming was America's first national monument, and its boundary enclosed an area of less than two acres. But the Roosevelts, both Teddy and later FDR, continued to set an example by preserving monuments which altogether totaled approximately four and a half million acres. Laws which are inherently unconstitutional are easily expanded and abused.